Well, good morning, good people. No, because baby, look, why Miss Natalie be eating? Because, yes. I run my city from the west side, big to best. I do a day to shite. Queen Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles. This is it, bitch. Michael Misfit. Huh, day a legend and moonwalk. Sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window. Both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches. And my demons, yeah, I'm queen. Uh, it is 6.44 a.m. I have been up since 2.30 a.m. Huh? I just got done. I just got done recording, uh, and uploading the vlog for y'all. Yes, I got that Nina in the bed with me, baby. Mike is not here. Okay, so if I hear something out the way, all right, and just to let you know that it's real, hold on. If I hear something out the way, okay, lighten your shit up. All right, that's first and foremost. Uh, got my little book here of notes because when I say, baby, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm finna get this work done. You understand me? But yeah, I, I keep Nina in the bed with me. I don't have time to fuck around by none of that. You understand me? Uh, so I'm up bright and early. I am going to go uh, drop these people they shit off to this job and collect my final paycheck. Uh, I think I'll... I'm going to take my mama. Hopefully she feel like going to go walk child because I want to go to the trail that's out there. Being that I don't know when the next time I'm going to be on that side of town. Okay. So it's a nice long, nice long trail out there that I want to uh, take a walk around. So hopefully she's at liberty to go child. Um, Cause if not, she's going to stay ass at home. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I just finished doing the edits for that. Um, today is car clean day. Because I cleans my car, and so far, it damn near feel like every other fucking day. I cannot wait. I cannot wait till the Lord bless me to where we can get that front yard done. Because I am so sick. The grass that ends up in my car is coming from my yard. And there's no way around it unless I park the opposite direction where I don't have to come across grass. But at the same time, I got a goddamn hay a doormat. So... Kind of fucked either way, but nonetheless, child, I just wanted to come open up a new vlog and tell y'all good morning. Um, since we back in action, bitch, y'all are just going to be seeing me around the house in my regular element. I did spring clean, and I just wanted to spring clean with the music on. I ain't want to talk to nobody. I, I just wanted to sing out loud. I cleaned baseboards, bitch. I pulled clothes out, trash out. I know them fucking uh, Republic Service probably said, God damn. Is she trying to throw away a body, bitch? I had the motherfuckers filled to the brim. All three trash cans empties. Yesterday, I went outside and pulled some weeds out the backyard. I started. I need to finish because that wind got real bad and it had got dark. Sitting on the phone talking to Mike. This is why when I clean up and certain shit I do, I likes to do it by my goddamn self, child, because... I don't be want no interruption. And my poor mama, that's the hardest thing for her to understand. What you mean? I I know you be busy, but uh, girl, that just be the thing. You know, like if you don't clock into a job and tell other people that you on somebody else's clock, your clock don't matter to nobody. Not saying that she don't respect my artistry, but she give it about as much respect as everybody else. Uh, girl, you ain't doing shit that you can't stop. Baby, you don't understand. When I stop, I stops. When I stop, I stops. I'm not the type of person that can easily pick back up where I left. I stops. So with that being said, child, you got to let me do me while I'm doing me. Okay. So I'm finna actually go ahead on and get up. I started to get up and go walk now, but I'm not going to. I am finna go get me some coffee though, because I do need me a little coffee since I already got my fucking edits done clear out some space in that bitch. I might go ahead on and get a couple of videos done while I'm waiting on the nine o'clock hour. Cause I kind of want to be pulling up the same time as that bitch. So if you should be at work by eight 55, uh, I, I should be there by nine Oh five. Cause I want this to be a, a quick little transition. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. That's it. I wish she would bring the shit to the car. Anyway, child, let me get up and, uh, drop this dookie and weigh in. Uh, cause you supposed to drop the dookie first and then you go way in child cause the scale be deceptive and uh yeah I'll be back TMI but fuck it we family <laughs> I love y'all bitch fell fine as frog hair yep that's all I did for the day next day <laughs> well what is up y'all and welcome or welcome back to another vlog 
child i'm almost sure that this is a continuation and it is just dark in here it is not as dark outside it's uh april the 8th so i just set my alarm for the solar eclipse the total eclipse child it's uh they got the live event will be happening between one and four yes i like science okay so I will be watching that shit. However, I wanted to come tell y'all good morning because, again, like we discussed in the live yesterday, bitch, I am jobless. So uh, why not fucking vlog? Because that's what the fuck you could and should be fucking doing. Amen. So looking at this camera is pissing me off because I've wiped y'all off several times. I'm so tired of cleaning y'all face. Come in. Uh, come in. Hold on. Let me clean your face. Stay still. It ain't no goddamn sense always coming out the house with your nose nasty. Okay, thank you. So anyway, I'm finna get up and um, I thought I wanted coffee. I don't feel like going to get none. I don't feel like going to get the shit that it takes to make said coffee. Uh, so coffee might be out of the question. I don't feel like putting on no clothes, warming up that car, going outside, getting in the car, driving across the street to get, I uh, just, I'm not in the fucking mood. This is why. I need to get me a coffee station here. I recently have taken a liking to coffee like that from working somewhere that had free coffee on tap, baby. But for the most part, uh -uh, I'm finna get up and have me a motherfucking glass of orange juice. And, bitch, I want to go on my walk so bad, but, like, the fucking weather, I thought that this week was supposed to start warming up, which it is at the end of the week. But the fucking weather says 70. I keep looking for this phone and I'm using it. Um, but the weather says 70 degrees but feels like 54. Bitch, that's not beneficial to nobody. Plus the fucking wind is blowing. I want to go get all them weeds up out my back goddamn yard. But that wind blowing, my allergies, and it's cold. Mm-mm. Nope. I went walking. I went walking the last two days. But when I say it was brisk, bitch, because it was cold. It was cold. I meant to take y'all on the walk with me when I went to the Sunset Trail, but I didn't. I didn't. And it was real windy, and I didn't. I just didn't feel like it. So I think the whole walk was I on the phone with Mike. Oh, nope. I think I was on the phone with Mike. Or Mar no, I was on the phone with Miranda. The whole goddamn time I was on the fucking walk. So. But yesterday I went and I did I did three laps instead of my usual four because I hadn't ate nothing. That's the only thing that that be pissing me off. Like as far as w with Mike not being here, my eating is terrible when when he's not here because I won't eat. I'm I prepare meals according to what the fuck he want. You know what I'm saying? Because the shit that I eat, Mike don't eat. So, like, I'll get me some, I'll make me some chow mein, or I'll make me some vegetables and, and, and shrimp, or I'll just eat a pot of shrimp, or I'll make me a little uh, pot of, uh, I'll get me some octopus and, and fry it. I eat like that. I eat different. Uh, I, I like canned clams and shit like smoked oysters and shit. I like shit like that. Mike don't like that. So I can eat that once or twice throughout the day and be good. The only time I eat a whole um, full meal is like when, whenever I cook something for Mike. But without him being here, like liquid fills me up. So I've been able to skim through that water like a big dog. So I pretty much stay full from fucking liquid between the water or the juice or coffee. And I be forgetting to go fucking eat still to this day. It's like, oh shit. So yesterday when I went and walked, I was trying to remember. I was like, wait a minute, what did I eat? Bitch, my mama had brought a rib over here like 2 33 o'clock yesterday, that, that afternoon. Not yesterday, day before yesterday. Bitch, that was all I had ate. And before I decided to go out on Friday, I had ate me a pickle. I always keep me some pickle slivers up in that motherfucker. So I had hard oh, mic calling. Ugh. Hold on.
So, this is what I'm dealing with. Since Mike has been gone, I have to share a bed with this. Now, if you notice, oh, okay. Uh, there's that much bed over there. Okay, there's enough bed for socks and all the other accoutrements that I have in the bed with me. Um, meanwhile, here are my legs. Okay, these are my legs. This is my side of the bed in the back. Okay, that's there's no more bed right here, as you can see. There's all of this bed. And she is right here. And the fact that she, um, ex excuse me, the fact that, like, she is under my covers. What is this? Give me this. I'm sorry. It was embedded on your hair and it was pissing me off. So, uh, this is what I've been dealing with. Obviously, I need to stop eating in the bed because now that the flash is on, I can see it. Um, But if y'all want y'all niece, she is in the bed. With me watching Hoochie Daddies. She's in the bed. Still. With me. Under my covers. And this is where she shall be. <laughs> Child, this dog makes me sick. Like... Explain to me how hard your fucking life is. Huh? Cause the fact that you are crouched up, like look at the look at the paws. First of all, I was asleep and she was not up here. Okay. I don't even think I got into the backstory of how she ended up up here. I don't know. I was at complete rest and I woke up. And this was in my bed. Not only was this in my bed, but I had this blanket pulled back. This blanket was pulled over here. Okay, because I sleep under two blankets, as y'all know. I'm anemic. Uh, uh, make sure your coochie ain't sure. But this blanket was all the way back. Oh, you want me to cover you up? You want to be covered up? Bless you. Uh oh. Do you need an allergy pill? But. She somehow managed to get in the bed, got in between these covers, curled up into the curvature of my body. Shut your sniffling. Got into the curvature of my body. And eventually, because I get cold, I'll pull the blanket up. So me not realizing that this thing is in the bed with me. Pulls the blanket up and curls, but eventually I want to roll over, and this thing is right here, balled up like this. Oh, mama, love it so much. I do. I let stop that licking. Let me pet you without you licking. Just, just let me let it happen. Just let it happen. There you go. There you go, mama, monkey shelf. Child, what time is it? Um, oh, the battery dead. Okay, well, it's 5.36 a.m. See if you can see that. 5.36 a.m. And I'm wide awake. <laughs> Why am I wide? I'm just so ready to sleep, like, all night. Then again... I think I was in the bed before 12. Yeah, I think I was asleep before midnight. Well, let me charge this forward, child. Because I've been editing vlogs all night. I mean, editing, um, 
editing uh, reactions all night, y'all. So, I got hella hours of reactions done, and I'm going to do hella more shit. Once I get all of them edited, I'm actually going to go put this on the charger in a minute. All right, y'all. I shall see y'all when the sun come up. Welcome or welcome back to another vlog, child. This is most indefinitely a continuation because, like I said, the last uh, few days of the vlog, child, that I had been giving y'all, bitch, I had been coming to y'all from the bed. And that ain't the motherfucking impression I wanted y'all to have of me is that that's all the bitch do is sleep. What the fuck is that noise? Like, something is hidden. Oh, my cousin. I was just going to say, why in the fuck is my seatbelt messed up? Child, do not be playing but my car. And I hate when niggas get out and just do your seatbelt any kind of way. Fix that seatbelt. If it was like that, the presidential. If you got in here and you felt like fucking royalty, leave it that way. Fuck. Anyway. um, So, she just left the doctor. Hello. Had to, um, there you go. Had to go give blood work, child cute as fuck bitch my doctor had to tell me i look good i said so what you saying about any other time he was like well you normally have on t-shirt leggings jeans or tennis shoes so he was like i've never seen you dressed up oh baby mama dresses down don't get it confused okay mama does it so i am on my way um to a interview well i'm finna go pick up my prescription first because i got to go do that i feel like you in my business because ain't nobody coming why are you still sitting here that's what I feel like. I feel like you're in my business. So, um, I'm going to have to cut this on in a second, baby. It's hot. It didn't, it didn't, oh, it's 75 degrees. Yeah, y'all just going to get a little outside with you. Um, but, yeah, so she is on her way to an interview and then got a call for another one. I feel like you were supposed to have been stopped. Uh, got a call for another one while I was at the doctor's office, child. All right. So, after I get my prescription... I'ma probably run home, glue my fucking nail on because I, I'm not a fan of that shit, okay? Not a fan of it at all. Is one of y'all turning? Okay, good, because cause if he turning, I can get in front of you. That'll work. Shit. Okay, then I'm probably gonna go buy Sonic and get me a little drink, child. Uh, so yeah, I got the interviews popping proud of that. I'm going to go see what that line looked like before I commit because uh, I cannot stand CVS and they motherfucking line. CVS line be so motherfucking long for no reason at all. Baby, it's one car in this line. Oh God, and I see his brake lights. Come on, Glory. Pull off. Pull off. Be pulling off. Are you pulling off? Hopefully you're pulling off. Baby, I just seen the reverse lights. That mean they pulling. Yes, they pulling off. Go ahead, move. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and pick up my prescriptions, child. So, I'm going to mute this part. Why? Because it ain't none of your motherfucking business. Even though y'all know when my birthday is. Baby, I am cute. I see what he meant. I'm cute, but I'm thirsty than a motherfucker. Okay, and it's time for this to come off. I don't want this on my person no more. Ooh, I might need it back on then. Hi, right, give me a moment. I'll be right with you. Yes, ma'am. I might need it on there. Never mind, shit. I don't understand, baby. I was in a rush. So whatever this is doing, it is doing. 
but um I wanted to have a sit down conversation with y'all last night but procrastination and Mike got the best of me child Mike wanted to sit on the phone all night and uh he didn't really give a fuck about what I did or did not have to do and he let me know that I'm a, uh, a lot of y'all been asking me about this little Shin Young so I guess before I take my braids down so, but Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Okay. Mhm. Mm it amazes me how people ask you a question real quick and you answer it, then they get this off-putting tone. I'm like, ma'am, I was trying to give you my information. You were speeding me through the process, so let me speed up. Problem? Anyway, so before I take my braids down, I'll probably give y'all another old nasty hairstyle video because baby, listen here. These braids have been up since December in the middle, February on the outside. And the way they looking in this camera, they look in real life, child. So fuck around and we'll go to Houston with these braids in. For sure they'll be in for my birthday. I ain't gonna hold you. For sure they'll be in for my birthday because I slick on a wig. But worst case scenario and my other braider, the only reason I had to find a new braider is because she got in an accident and broke both of her fucking hands. How unfortunate is that? How do you get in an accident and break... You could have broke anything else. Nothing to take her up out of here, but like you could have broke a leg. You could have sat down and braided my fucking hair. You have me going out here having to search for these fucking people and then they not reliable. Anyway, child. So, procrastinated on my nails, so I have to go to my interview like this. Unless, uh, if I can do this in enough time, because it's not till 12.30 and it's 11.28 now. So if I can do this in enough time to make it back home, glue my motherfucking nail on. Because, I mean, bad enough they ugly right now. I'm just not at liberty to have one missing. So, call it what you want. But even though the place, I would probably do better getting on the freeway to go to the place over here. Then again, probably not. Probably not. I should have told her about the ibuprofen and the the other pill because they're going to try and give me, give me problems. Look at this. Like, I think I was talking to y'all about it on the live. Like, I don't understand what the fuck is happening with my skin around about the nose and mouth area. But this right here, I'm sick of it sick of it. I think I'm, th I'm thirsty. I got to be thirsty. Okay, so my little band-aid, I accidentally stuck the bandage together so now I won't stain. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't never want her to fucking help me again. Because I don't, I don't get where, where do we go wrong? Babe, like, you asked me a question, I answered it, but I can hear the off-put in her fucking voice. Like, ma'am, are you all right? Because the fuck? Bitch, I didn't wake up with you. Child, I am cute. Okay? I'm this close to going down to the motherfucking liquor store so a crackhead can pay me a compliment because I feel like I deserve it. Um... <laughs> I'm a fucker. Nah, no, you know what? Video chat might. It's something about how a crackhead make you feel. Goddamn, girl, I drink your bad water. All that other shit. Welcome to Sony, may I take your order? Yes, ma'am. Uh, question. You got, I don't see it on the menu, so I'm going to ask you. Um, the drinks, like, like the soda drinks with the white shit in it. <laughs> oh, I can't think of what it is. So you want this, uh, float? No, it's not a float. It's the new drinks y'all got out. Man, fuck. Okay, since I can't think of it, and I don't think you can either. Um, shit. Did you talk in a blackout slush? You said a, a blackout slush? Yeah. I'll I'll try that. It's a cause what I want what I want is I don't see it. So yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, that's a promotion week week. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Can I get that in the medium? Oh. They come only one size. One size only? Okay, you yeah. got it. 432, thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, I know the shit that I want. I'm finna go up there and see it, because I, I, me paying $4 for a drink is just un, un, unheard of. That's not true. Is it the Sunday? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
But that's been happening a lot too. Like I went to, I should have asked her, is that grape? Because if it's grape, I do not want it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask her, is that blackout grape? Because I ain't never had that. Qu question the blackout that's not grape is it no oh, okay it's a special flavor gotcha okay because grape i don't i can't fuck with no grape nothing i do not like grape drinks but that's been happening i went to family dollar last night to get the uh, acetone to do my nails because i don't feel like going all the way to the nail supply store bitch i go in there and i ask the man for the acetone right so he was like, oh, uh, it's back there with the new booty behind the counter. Literally what he said. So I said, okay. So I go up to the counter. The nigga is pulling out nail polishes by the box. Nail polish after nail polish, sir. I don't want nail polish. I said it again. A nail polish remover. Acetone. Uh, okay. He's looking through all these little small cabinets where I know the shit ain't gonna fit at and y'all dumb as hell for putting it there. But it's even sadder that on my side of town, they have the whole store, the the wash up stuff, the laundry stuff, everything is behind the counter because of people stealing shit. Ridiculous. Like, anyway, not even trying to get into that. But um, they have the whole store. Thank you. You too. Ooh, can I have a straw, please? Okay. It's cute. Thank you, you too. Okay. So I don't know what this is, but it's the new blackout dress from Sonic Color. Oh no, I dropped that fucking paper on my goddamn floor. Okay. So, oh, bitch, ain't nobody behind me. So that's the drink. It's the blackout drink from Sonic Color. Let's taste it. Okay. It's actually not too sweet, which makes me fucking happy because, okay, throw that outside, so. Yeah, I can't come out till you come in, babe. So, it's actually not that sweet, which makes me happy. Because I don't be gun ho for the sweet shit like that. But, um, so I'm steady asking these motherfuckers. Where the acetone at? So the nigga decides when I finally, uh, oh, let me go ask a woman. I don't do no nails. I don't know nothing about nails. And nigga, I didn't ask you to know nothing about no nails. I asked you to know about these aisles. That's what you do do. You work here. Oh, shorty, you right. I just didn't know what acetone was. Well, I'm standing here. I'm telling you, I know what I'm coming for. So ask me what it is. You got to go get a woman to do a woman's job when a woman is speaking to you. Like, come on, bro. Stop playing with me. Shit. And the girl started laughing. She was like, that makes sense. Like, she's standing there. You couldn't just ask her what it looked like. And the girl sitting on the floor trying to organize shit. You want her to get up off the floor. Oh, baby, that's ice cream. Okay, that's ice cream. You want her to come get up off the floor to come help you find some shit. I said, you supposed to know these aisles, nigga. I didn't ask you to know the product. I know the product. I'm coming in here for it. Child, I guess they said shit. You can't sell a smoke um, fucking remover. Hey, slime. I'll call you right back. Okay, this ain't half bad. So I'm gonna go home since I got an hour to spare. I'm gonna go home, let my dogs out. Ooh, I done caught a brain freeze. <coughs> 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 <clears throat> Go home and let them let them bitches out. Woo! Ah! <clears throat> Shit! That ain't nothing but ice. <clears throat> so yeah, let them out. Glue this nail back on because. Yes, I'm that motherfucking shallow, baby. I do not want to go nowhere with only nine nails and talking about interviewing. Nuh-uh. She is better than that. So, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home and put this nail on, get bike in the car, and go head on. Should have put the fucking nail on before I left the house, as I meant to. 
but of course I was doing 17 other things. I gotta clear some space for y'all before the camera fuck around and cut off. So, I'm gonna make some space and then I will be back to talk to y'all later about what I wanted to talk to y'all about yesterday, child. All right. Well, good morning, y'all. So, I got y'all looking up at my light right now because, bitch, I'm putting on my clothes for my workout. But I needed to come on here and talk to y'all. Okay, so y'all will be moving all around. But, bitch, y'all ain't going to be moving around in my face until I get dressed. But, anyway... So, uh, last time I left off on the vlog, I wanted to come and talk to y'all. Uh, usually all of this shit makes it to Patreon and that is where it stays. Um, but I feel like the situation at hand is one that needs to be shared over here as well. Um, because as adults, a lot of us, you, you know how... A lot of adults don't like them kids to tell y'all y'all be telling the goddamn lie. Or, you know, not not even so much as this, this situation is not even lying. I'm saying this to a person that is that feels like they're just say it, Natalie. I feel like I'm talking to the person that feels like they're in a season of punishment. Okay? Punishment. What you mean? My nigga, I quit my job. I quit my job and there was a domino effect of events that followed so rapidly that it left me in a season of regret. And y'all know me. I don't like to regret a motherfucking thing. So when I say a season of regret, Bitch, hold on, because I'm on the other side of the room. But, uh, when I say a season of regret, bitch, I mean just that. I quit my job, and literally, after that, Patreon knows what other stuff has transpired. Other stuff has transpired, bitch. And me... And my issue with security. A, at one point, money was real good on YouTube. And now, it's not like that. Okay? Due to monetization and all that other shit that they snatched the fuck away from you, it just is what the fuck it is. So maintaining a job is majority of something that you must fucking do. Me quitting my fucking job because of something I'm I'm not going to never I'm not going to never lie and tell y'all to accept mistreatment nowhere. But and I have been looking for another job already. So <clears throat> me and my impatient ass child the other job wasn't fine the, the other job that i was looking for wasn't finding me fast enough you understand i'm sorry i need to wipe y'all face off but the other job i was looking for wasn't finding me fast enough so because it's something that i don't like and i'm gonna try to explain this so if i get to talking around and around in circles it's because i'm trying to explain it the way the shit comes to me is not the way that the shit gets conveyed sometimes. I don't know why this motherfucking thing is crooked. Hold on. It's not the way that the shit gets conveyed. And I don't like to have to keep re-answering the same question over and over again, bitch. But if there is any questions in regards to this situation. But, like, I don't like to regret shit. And normally, I'm a lot more ahead of situations. I may have something put up. I may... Any fucking thing. Even if it's just enough for me to get by for the month. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do any of that. I disregarded entirely because based off of my experience and I've never had an issue getting a job. That's literally what, what it is. I'm, I'm almost sure. But I have, to, I have to call a thing a thing. I have to say it out loud. So I've never had an issue with getting a job. So I'm like, man, fuck it. At this point, I'm unhappy. I don't like it here. I'm quitting. 
I've already been putting in for jobs. True enough, I ain't got nobody to bite on the hook yet, but it's okay. Then the other shit happens. And I'm never going to say that I'm ever going to stay at a place that I'm unhappy in because I don't believe God intended for you to be unhappy. But the fact that ain't nobody shook that hook yet, bitch, you were supposed to sit your ass at that motherfucking job and just be a little miserable for eight hours is what I'm feeling now or what I was I was feeling it terribly for the weekend which is why y'all got so many reaction videos and baby there are more coming because again if I'm not in the space to vlog I don't and I have had to take a lot of time to myself to figure out bro what the fuck is it when I looked on my ND I have filled out for 48 jobs 48 that's within the last two weeks that I have not been working. 48 jobs I've applied for with my experience. Either jobs want to pay $15, $16, $17. I got years of experience. So I said, you know what? Like I said on live, I'm done putting a ceiling on myself. I don't want to work no more jobs where the pay not even worth my motherfucking attitude, my time, my dignity, or my self-respect. You motherfuckers is going to have... I want one goddamn day of work to at least pay four motherfucking bills. Water bill don't be number 30 goddamn dollars. Gas bill going to be going down because of the goddamn... I got my heater on right now. Not the house heater. I got my plug-in heater on. Because the gas bill, I'm going to need that to go down. The power bill has gone down tremendously. I think the power bill like 112 now. So with the exception of like little side bills, but I have a car that I pay $644 for. The insurance is $282 motherfucking dollars on said car. So I pay $1,000 to drive damn near. Six, seven, eight, 87, 44, $900, probably about 926 some odd dollars. I could be wrong. The mortgage is $704. So between falling asleep somewhere and driving around, that is already coming up to damn near for a little over $1,500. Let me make sure I'm counting right. Six, seven. Mm-hmm. Seven, seven. Mm-hmm. Fourteen. Yep. I didn't calculate that because I had the sponsorships coming in. I had YouTube coming in. Patreon coming in. I may occasionally get on live and y'all bless me. At the time, Mike's income. At the time... <laughs> YouTube, my paycheck, little side hustles, whatever. And it's damn near like when I quit that fucking job, that shit stopped. So now I'm in a state of wonder, and this is what I was going through all fucking weekend. I'm being punished. I am being punished. I am being punished for <laughs> I'm being punished for quitting that job. I'm being punished. It, that has to be what the fuck this is. I have put in for 48 fucking jobs. I've never had to put in for that many jobs. And I had not gotten no responses. And majority of the jobs, bitch, was e not me just putting in for them. They were either part-time, low-paying, with the exception of the ones that pay higher. I know they're going to take a minute to call back. So I'll work these little bullshit jobs until the ones paying 20 and up go ahead on and give a nigga a call back. I applied for the QA position. I did the fuck. I did the fuck out of that goddamn QA presentation. Took me days to do it. I was supposed to hear something back from them. Finally, when I did hear back, we chose to go with other candidates. Okay, whatever. Not going to let that discourage me. Although that motherfucker paid $28 an hour. But I get it, Lord. That ain't for me right now. Okay. Because I know with a $28 an hour paying job and customer service, it's going to be a whole lot to do. Okay, I get it. And I don't ever want a job to take me away from this. Because my mind is pretty one track. If I have to focus on something difficult, I got to focus on that difficult thing. For a little while. At least until I get it. Just like when I started at the other job, I was kind of lackluster with the videos because I'm trying to hone in and understand this, this position. So, I don't really have... Oh, I know y'all going to ask to see them, child. And I couldn't even record these because I... In a funk. Bad state of mind. There you go again. There, there they go. 
So, like, I'm being punished. I have to be. Then something goes on and happens with Mike's job. So now I feel responsible, even though I know the, the person Mike was working for passed away. <laughs> There's no more work. There's no, oh my God. And everything plays in your mind. And I may get emotional just because I, I've said it to myself, but I haven't said it out loud. Like, I know none of it, all of it is not on me. And motherfuckers die, goddammit. But like, what the fuck? I have an issue with fucking shopping. I cut back on that. Y'all know normally if I get new shit, I either do a haul or like I'll show y'all my shoes and shit. Okay, because it's like, what the fuck have you been doing to the point to where you may have a hundred dollars to your fucking name right now? So you've literally just been getting by. And I'm not going to get mad at myself because goddamn it, gas is $4.30 fucking cent. So yes, getting by, that's it. And I've never, like I said again, I've never attempted to portray myself as being something that I'm not. My allowance is $20 on Friday because I get I got perks where I go to. That $20 is for my bartender because we put our money together. So the shit that I do just for leisure, I go to the park and walk. The shit I do for leisure is just, is either cheap or free. So I'm not frivolously spending necessarily. Outside of that, my nigga, I'm in this house. Other than going to a job. I don't really go no, which is why I don't bring y'all many vlogs. Because I be in the house. So, like, what the, what the fuck are you doing? To the point to where, as y'all know. <laughs> and you, Patreon, I'm sorry. Because usually I say these conversations for y'all. But I think I'm a, fuck it. As y'all know, I got on live and I talked to y'all about potentially driving Uber with people in my car. Y'all know how I feel about people being in my car. So, I'm supposed to be going to Jamaica with Miranda in July. I told Miranda and my mom I didn't want to go because I don't have a job. And I don't because <laughs> y'all heard the girl's trip story. Unless we all going broke, bitch, I'm not going nowhere broke. And even if we are going broke, bitch, I'm not going nowhere broke. Especially out of the country for my first time. So I tell them both no. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm grown. I'm not sad about it because I know what I can't do and I know what I don't want to do. So I tell both of them, my mom, I'm not going. No, Nat, you need to go. Everybody that I told, I'm not going because I don't go nowhere. I'm not going. No, Nat, don't do that. You need to still go. My mom was going to pay for my passport. No, mama, don't, don't do that. I, I'm serious. I'm okay with not going. Nigga, I'm from Las Vegas. Planes is falling apart. If I want to go to Jamaica, I'll put me a kiddie pool in that backyard. Have Mike come outside. He got dreads, bitch. And I sit on this goddamn porch and drink me a soda out of a coconut. Okay? I'm not pressed about going nowhere because I'm not working right now. And I did not tell... I wanted to tell Miranda this last night. Miranda, I'm sorry. Miranda sent me <laughs> when I was on live. Miranda sent me the fucking money. And at one point, y'all can see my face change. After Miranda said, read your phone. Miranda sent me the money to go get my fucking passport. When we got off live, I looked at that money. 
I looked at that money because in my mind, my nigga, I got real shit to take care of. I, I don't have time to go get no passport. So I sent Miranda her money back because I know what the fuck I got going on. I, I don't have time to be going out of town. Like I'm going to Texas in May. That's already signed, sealed, and delivered. But I'm going to Texas with Miranda. Somewhere where I can go there with two, three hundred dollars and be alright. My plan was to drive fucking Uber. To get the money. To get my passport by the 26th. Which is the day of my appointment. Okay, bet. I'ma just drive Uber long enough to get this passport. And to get, you know... Some some money to add to the rest of the stuff because as far as your mortgage, you can be a little late, you know. And by then, some shit gonna shake. But right now, Mike not here. I ain't got nothing but time. I can just drive Uber until I get tired of being in the car, take me a break, get back in there, bitch, get back at it. At night, instead of driving people, I'll just do Uber orders. Cool. Solid plan. The only thing I had to do was renew my insurance. Between the money that Miranda gave me and what I had left, I went ahead and did my insurance because I knew I was going to get the money back to go ahead on and get my passport. And I could not tell her that shit when we was on the phone last night because it hurt my fucking feelings. I paid that money to renew my fucking insurance. After I did that shit, I get on the app to upload the fucking insurance. Then they put a thing that says, you have to have a business license to drive Uber. When they offered it to me the first time, that was not there. That was not there. Renew your insurance. I used the money to renew my fucking insurance, bro. And when I looked on there, the fucking business license is $200. I was done after that. Like, I think I came in here and laid down because what the what the fuck, bro? This has got this has got to be a punishment. This has got to be a fucking punishment. And dear Lord Jesus, I am sorry, bro, because I, I like was it me? What the what the fuck? Ain't nobody calling back. I'm putting in for jobs like a big dog. And bitch, like, literally, I don't have no background. I don't get in no trouble. Like, what, what the fuck is happening, man? So, regardless of the fact, Miranda, when I get my YouTube money, I'm still going to go get my motherfucking passport. That's just going to have to take for some, from something else. I'm not going to not go get it. But I had every intention on being able to make the fucking money. I can't do fucking nails like that on nobody else. My fucking hands. Unless somebody willing to sit up here all fucking day. Like. <laughs> to. You want to talk about feeling helpless. And that ain't. That's not me. That's not me, bro. That's not me. That's not me at all. And I'm the type of person and I'm still going to do that. I'm going to figure out a motherfucking grind and I will suffer in silence. But I had to say this to whoever is feeling like they're in a season of regret. Because I'm still there. But Monday, when I got up. And I did all of that shit, like I said, when it came down to the uh, driving the Uber. I called that morning because I had scheduled an inspection. The inspection is $25. I scheduled to go get the car inspected. I paid the insurance. I got back up there. I uploaded the insurance. Another task pops up about the goddamn uh, license. Had no idea. Then... <laughs> I get a call. And like I said, me being human, I do I have I have faith. I have faith and I know it, I know everything is going to be okay, which is why I'm able to make this video 
through all the shit that I feel. Because shame is something that a lot of people feel. And I know damn well it's somebody else watching this that's in this situation. So when I talked to y'all in that video, I think I was on my way to an interview. I think I was on my way to an interview when I talked to y'all. That was Tuesday. So Monday is when this bullshit happened. And Monday, I kind of wallowed around here. And, and, and that shit, like I said, I came and got back into bed after I saw that shit. And I laid here for a minute. I got one phone call. We'd like you to come in for an interview tomorrow. Okay. I got another call. Are you able to come and interview with us Thursday, which is today? I got another call. Do you mind doing a Zoom interview Thursday with us? Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. So... I was going to hustle up the money to go get the business license. Get on fucking Instagram to go and ask somebody a question about where to go to get the fucking business license from. Shade Room shows that an 81-year-old woman or an 81-year-old man, whichever one, the lady got shot because the white man believed that she was trying to scam him while picking him the fuck up in an Uber. No. Not doing it. I knew I didn't want to do it. Now I'm not doing it. Okay, God, I see you. I see you. And I'm not saying that that happened as a sign for me. I saw it as a sign for me. You know damn well. I have a reason why outside of the way that I love my car, I don't like other people in it. Especially if I got a strong feeling that you're going to fuck it up. Because what do you care? This ain't your shit. This is my shit. What do you care? So, in, in knowing that, that kind of put my mind at ease with that. Okay, it's a reason you don't like that shit, and you know you don't. You got the interviews now. And it was a calm that came over me. I don't know what's coming. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what's coming. But whatever it is, I thank you for the presence of it beforehand, because when I say, I started to feel relaxed. The fact that I'm talking to y'all, I'm actually feeling a little bit better about it. Because other than that, I would have said nothing. I haven't said shit to nobody. Nobody. As far as the household goes with Mike, I manage everything in the household. So... That shit falls on my shoulders. I haven't said anything to him. Because he's where he is taking care of what he needs to take care of. I gave the promise that I got us while you do what you got to do. And Mike don't sit still and watch no motherfucking vlogs. So I don't have to worry about it still. And even if I do decide to say something, I don't want him to worry because... What he's doing right now is already a worrisome situation anyway. So when I'm the person that manages the house like that, he don't even fucking know. <laughs> but... Whatever it is that's coming, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the something is. I don't know what the something is, or I don't even know if it's already came. I know whatever the blessing is, it's already done in the name of Jesus. But I felt a calm over me that made me okay with recording myself talking about it. I felt a calm come over me. It's okay. And I tell y'all this shit all the time. A motherfucker will not tell you about their marathon while they running that goddamn race. They'll come tell you about it after the fact. I don't like to be one of those people, but I can completely understand in certain situations because, A, you, you don't... I don't never want nobody to take pity. Never. 
Never. I'm not a pitiful motherfucker. So, that be the shit I'm worried about. Oh, I don't want nobody to see me as pitiful, man. Fuck all of that. That is one of the problems as to why people be in ruts. And the certain motherfuckers you can't speak to during the day because they got so much shit going on that they not willing to talk to or tell nobody about. At least discuss. You don't have to wholeheartedly go through every fucking thing that's going on. But to at least be willing to be for real and discuss some shit. To at least be able to do that. To be honest and willing to talk about it. I didn't want to come out of this shit, wipe the dust off. Oh, y'all, let me tell you what I've been, I'm up now, I'm up now, but let me tell you, no, no, that ain't what you signed up for. You can't get up on this motherfucker and call yourself real. Say that you being of service or of assistance, a, an essential part of people's lives through your voice. You can't say that was given to you by God and you're going to keep it for yourself. Come on, give it to me. You can't say that this was given to you by God in order for you to be able to be yourself and make other people feel good and you keep it to yourself until you get better. Because sometimes that shit that you be asking for, you know, oh, well, you the strong person and, and don't nobody just check on you and see about you. You can't complain about shit when you doing that shit to yourself. You're not allowed to say anything. If you decide that this is, if, I, I can't complain about how people don't check on me if I, if I show that I'm not a person that needs to be checked on. Makes sense? Like, I pride myself on being real with y'all. I told y'all a long time ago. I got payment arrangements. I go through all the same shit, literally. It, it ain't no, y'all not finna see me moving into no new house every two, three years. Y'all will see this house until YouTube implodes. Or me, until I perish. Y'all are not gonna see no Lamborghini in the motherfucking driveway. My life way too modest for that. My dream motherfucking car. It's a Honda Accord, super sport. If we talking about nice shit. If we talking about an old school, I want a bubble body 1996 police interceptor Chevy Impala. With Betty Boop with an afro and a purple dress on the side of it. So, swimming pools and all that other shit, that ain't gonna never be me just because that's not me. I don't want to come and tell y'all about that shit at that point and give you the, oh, look at me. If I can do it, you can do it too. When I've prided myself and my channel on wanting y'all to do shit with me. Makes sense. So, bearing it. And like I said again, Whenever that thing makes itself known, whenever it makes itself visible, because it's Thursday. I had that interview Tuesday. I meant to talk to y'all about this shit Tuesday. I have sat on this. I've been dealing with this shit on my own for the past shit. It didn't really get real to me till Saturday, really. I was still kind of, nah, but I had only done missed, what, three days. So, it hadn't set in yet. But like that Saturday over the weekend, it was just like, okay. Miranda, I tell you, every time Miranda talked to me, what you doing? Finna get up and clean up. I couldn't clean my fucking house up. I would go start straightening something up, and then i just go lay down. <laughs> like I said, my eating schedule had been fucked up. Because I just go lay down. I'm, I'm over it. Let me, I just go lay down. Lost all my little muscle mass. I done worked up. Doing straight cardio. I just go walk. 
Bitch, we trying to build these goddamn legs. Hey, God, don't walk them off. Build them up. I don't know what it is. But I think when I, I told Miranda this last night about the feeling like a punishment situation. But whatever that thing is, I thank God for the presence of it. I thank God for the presence of knowing that it's in the atmosphere. It's here. I don't know what it is. I may go to one of them two interviews today and they ask me, what time do you want to come to work tomorrow? That could be it. I could check my account right now. And somebody that sent me a goddamn bonus. Uh, Wells Fargo has some sort of bonus program. Never know. I checked my account one day and had 300 extra dollars. Hurried up and sent that to Envy Energy. I didn't even expect or know nothing about that money. It could be anything. I don't know what it is. But... If you are in a season like that, I want you to take time to yourself and for yourself. To attempt to hear, take in, and honestly feel. I don't give a fuck what nobody tell y'all about getting on this camera doing certain shit. This shit is very much so therapeutic. A, I have to look at myself and say out loud the shit that I'm not willing to say to myself when there's no camera at all. You know what I'm saying? I'll lay in this bed and think it. But I'll never go walk into the mirror. Purposely. And just start naming the thing. Sometime I go sit I go sit in my office and I, I got the big mirror in there where I do my hair and shit for the video. So I'll do it in there occasionally. I've piled stuff up on my desk in there. Purposely, so I couldn't see the mirror. Now you run it. And now you run it from you. <laughs> and the worst lie that we can tell anybody is the one we tell ourselves. But to be able to cut this camera on. And whether you agree, you disagree or not, it does not matter. The shit is no longer on me. Thank you. I'm not holding it in and it's not just sitting here bouncing off these walls. In this day and age, ain't shit that I put on this motherfucker because I have the opportunity to edit this out. I have the opportunity to do all this and delete this video entirely. So if y'all never see this, I have the opportunity to do that. And I'm not going to. Because when that storm passed over, just like I did when y'all, I cannot lie to you, y'all blessed me with that car. Y'all seen me without a motherfucking car. I showed y'all when they was pulling that bitch off. There was no car in the driveway. I took y'all with me to go pick that motherfucker up. Hmm? So again, I'm not the type of person that just shows you the good shit and tells you about what I had to go through. I'm going to take y'all with me because this is what I vowed to do. Not only did I vow to do it, this is what I've been blessed to have the ability to be able to do with just me. Come on, give it to me. I've been blessed to be able to have a gift as such where I don't need a bunch of props. I literally do this and I have made good money. And even if it ain't good, I have made U.S. currency just turning on my phone and being my fucking self in front of a light. So I refuse to get fake when shit get fucked up. No. And I want other people to know that it is okay 
to be vulnerable with yourself and find somebody you can truly be vulnerable with. Because, see, I don't mind talking my shit about the shit that I'm going through because it ain't never some shit you can throw. Oh, I remember when, bitch. I remember it, too. I talked about it. The only reason you know is because I told you. It can never be thrown in your motherfucking face. Nothing that you done been through. You saw me go through that shit, right? That shit was funny. Ha <laughs> ha. What about that make out, though? Because you saw that, too. What What about when I made it out, that shit, though? Because cause there was a visual for that as well. What about that make out, though? How you like that? There it go again. Like I said, whatever it is, it's getting closer to me. I did the sitting in silence. Talking it out through with myself. I did that. I did the noticing. I noticed I was running from my own motherfucking shadow because I had that mirror covered up. I did that. I noticed I wasn't cleaning up adequately. I did all of that. I did that part by myself. Now, and because I have friends around me, Two for shit show. <laughs> One, I. But two for shit show. That I say things to because they've never made me feel bad. Or they've never made me feel a way. Or they always have made their themselves feel available to me in my times like that. And I didn't even utilize them. Until last night. Because Shay Tay, I can't tell her I'm fucked up. I know she gonna see this. Hey girl. But I can't never tell her I'm fucked up in the sauce like that. Cause she's that friend. Bitch, I'm broke. I'm in the house. No the fuck you not. I got some money. Come on. Friday. I was not gonna go nowhere. I was not gonna go nowhere. I was not gonna go nowhere. Hold on. Friday, I was not going to go nowhere. And I was not going to go... <laughs> Bitch, I was not going to go nowhere because my cash app looked like that. Bitch, I'm laughing now, but when I saw that balance, immediately start crying. Bitch. Friday. I was not going to go nowhere. Masika. This is Friday. Masika sent me this. Of that, my friend didn't make me pay shit with it. I went and filled my ca my gas tank up. Shout out to you, Masika. But you can see right here, plain as day. That's a Friday. That says Friday. I wasn't going nowhere Friday, and I just told y'all, I sat in that shit all weekend. I, I had no plans on going anywhere. And I told my friend, friend, I'm fucked up right now. I don't need to, no, I don't need to go nowhere. My friend was like, bitch, please. I got some extra money, so I, I grabbed my little twenty dollars because I had me. A, I got. I had. I keep me a little petty change because the bitch gotta eat. My dogs is gonna eat, so I, I brought me a little twenty dollars out of them. And when I tried to hand her the money, no. How much you want me to cash app you? Leave me the fuck alone. Okay, you want to go out to eat? No, I don't want to go. I, I mean, I can eat breakfast. I love breakfast after liquor, but. I got this $20. Come on. So, 
I'm the type of person, you have to be cautious with how you say shit to me. Because when she was like, girl, come on. I don't like, are you are you broke friending come on me? Or are you telling me to come on like, girl, knock it off. She was like, bitch, knock it off. Come on. So after we eat, I slide the $20 to her. And she kind of looked like. Bitch, take this motherfucking $20 because I'm not going to be able to sleep good if you done funded this entire night. Take this $20. I'm sick of it. Take it. So people like that be a blessing. And, and like, I, like I said, I don't know where it's coming from. But I have this sense of calming. Calming. It's going to be all right. It's going to be a little hectic, but it's going to be cool. And I'm all right with that. And if you're going through a storm right now, even if you never posted, cut your camera on. See yourself. Call that thing a thing. So you can start getting the clarity and the space that you need to recognize that although it may feel fucked up, for whatever blessing is on the horizon, come on, give it to me. For whatever blessing that's on the horizon, you are right where you need to be. Thank you. You're right where you need to be. There's a blessing in each and every lesson, and every lesson is not going to be fucking easy. And even if my lesson is, I done blessed you with a job. I done blessed you with a job where you able to work three days out the motherfucking week. So what if you're not happy right now? Do what you need to do, but you don't forfeit a blessing that I gave you just because you upset. That could be the lesson. Or the lesson could be bet more on yourself. I don't know. I've talked to y'all for 41 minutes on accident. This vlog, hella long. And the, uh, the whole thing is talking and me in the bed. But it's all right. It's all right. This was, this was for somebody. And I don't like talking like this on live too much because I don't know how nobody else mind work, but I hear shit while I'm talking. It ain't no facade or no shit that I'm putting on. Whenever you see me look down and I say something, give it to me. Thank you. I can hear that shit. You ain't got to believe it, because I know it's true. I hear it. And on live, you focusing on the comments and responding to people. So sometimes it's hard for you to hear certain shit. But I hear it. I wish I could hear what the fuck it was. But I know for sure. It's something coming. That's going to blow my motherfucking hair back, bro. I just thank you, Jesus, for the presence of it. I thank you. I thank you for the feeling of it. I thank you for knowing it's coming. I thank you for pulling me near the end of the feeling of regret because I don't like that. And if the Lord know my heart, he know I'm not no, I'm not no regretful person. I do not like it. But I knew I was fucked up when I had every intention on making a two-part nail video. I was going to make a video of me uh, plant, doing my uh, takeoff of the old, the, not the old set, child, the uh, stuff. I was going to do the takeoff, the acrylic, show y'all how I repair broke nails. And then the second part was going to be me doing the design. Bitch, the phone was fully charged and ready to go. I did none of that shit. None of it. I didn't do any of it. And I knew then, okay, now you're negating what you're supposed to be doing. Get off your ass, bro. <laughs> you're going to have to shake back. This ain't cool and this ain't you. So y'all will probably be getting a bunch of content of me driving around at night because, baby, she will be do uh, doing Uber Eats tonight. I think I'm going to start either from, for, yeah, I think I'm going to start for dinner. So I might, I might do like six. What time? My last interview is at three. So yeah, I might do six. I don't know because I don't do like rush hour traffic out here. 
with all this construction going on, horrible. And I'm not in the mood to be in no motherfucking accident trying to drop no food off while it's a bunch of traffic going on. So I may wait until like the dinner, late dinner, hour type-esque. But yeah, y'all finna get this content because fuck it. <laughs> I ain't got no motherfucking choice. And I never had a choice in the matter. I never had a choice in the matter. Because this is literally a God-given assignment. And I'm not being punished. I'm being pushed. Come on, man. <laughs> you in here. I'm not being punished. I'm being pushed. Come on, baby. Huh. I'm not being punished. I'm being pushed. I get it. <laughs> Whoa. I get it. Okay. I'm not being punished. I'm being pushed. I'm almost out of Taco Bell napkins. <laughs> oh no, bitch. I need an allergy pill. That's heavy. <laughs> You said that. I'm not being punished. I'm being pushed. Well, child, with that being said, shit. <laughs> I damn near ain't got nothing else to say. I heard that. I heard that. You're not being punished. You're being pushed. <laughs> Shit. I wish the goddamn ledge that you pushing me to would have been said a lot louder so I can go to that motherfucker. You ain't got to push me out of walk. <laughs> This juice so nasty. I did, however, I think I got it from the dollar store. But it's been sitting on the side of this bed for a week. And it ain't good cold unless it's froze. And these cramps say, no, you're not finna drink shit frozen. So, child, I'm finna take my vitamins, though. I need, uh, shit, I need to not take no B12 vitamins. Because according to my goddamn, um, according to my blood work, shit, my B12 is two points away from being too fucking high. I'm asking the doctor to put me on fucking B12 shots. <laughs> he was like, well, we don't want to overdose you on the B12, so... When I got that blood work back, because I had to go to the doctor on Tuesday as well. Bitch, when I got that blood work back, and he checked for thyroids, every, my entire bill of health. I'm so excited about that. I damn near want to show y'all. With the exception of my creatine, and I forgot, uh, over the weekend, I went and got me uh, two Del Monaco steaks, baby. Two, a pack of two Del Monaco steaks is $8. I went and got me the two, the pack of Del Monaco steaks, and Saturday and Sunday, I had steak. I ate a steak on Saturday all day. I ate a steak on Sunday. Yeah, because Monday I made my chicken and shrimp shit because I was tired of eating steak. That was all I wanted. So, hence the reason for my creatine being high. But I don't feel like logging in. Everything on my bill of health was green. So I knew then, bitch, your metabolism ain't slowed down. Ho, you sad. <laughs> Ho, you sad. Buck up, Bart. That's all that's wrong with your stupid ass. You was in a funk. You was okay. Shut up. Asking this man for no motherfucking B12, bitch. 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead on and get to it. Uh, I'm going to close this vlog out with this. I love y'all. I thank y'all for listening. I appreciate y'all. Miranda, I'm going to take care of business, and I'm sorry. I love y'all, though. I love y'all a whole lot. I thank y'all again for listening. I thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, we got plenty of reaction videos coming. And I'm in this vlog. And the next vlog will probably start with me cleaning up, child. And if you don't like to see rolls and whatnot. Because uh, I got on a sports bra and some shorts, bitch. I'm in my house. So, the next vlog will start out with me looking like the Michelin man in a boxing outfit. I love y'all so much. And until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.